I'm in a dilemma, y'all. <laughs> Can't believe this. I am in between a rock and a hard place. Like, I am in a pickle. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to mentally navigate this issue in real time. Like, it's been an issue for a while, but I think it's just finally got me to the point where I'm like, I need to come to terms with this and I need to either move, like I'm in a, I'm at a fork in the road and I need to either go one way in confidence or I need to just deviate and go a completely different way. So bear with me, y'all. I'm sorry if it takes me a minute to explain this, but I promise you, you will be entertained. I hope y'all laugh with me. Cause this, this is funny. This is funny. So, so here's the problem. Here's the issue. The problem is, I have over, this, I kid you not, I have over half a million followers on Facebook. I'm no cat. I'm not lying. I will show you the number so you don't think I'm editing this. Like, I'm not doing this. This is not photoshopped. So if you look, I have 511,000 followers on Facebook. Now I know you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, what's the issue? 500, like half a million? That's great, right? <laughs> Here's the problem. The problem is, out of that 500,000, maybe at the most, 25% probably 20 to 25% of those followers are actual K-drama rapper fans. Some of y'all know where I'm going with this already. I don't buy likes. I've never bought any, I've never fluffed numbers a day in my life. No cap. Like I've never bought streams, never bought likes, never bought YouTube views. I don't do that. I don't need to do that because at the end of the day, I am content with God, with whatever God allows me to have. I just wrote a song about this matter of fact. It's called Cap Gun. It's dropping this Friday. I am exposing, especially Christian rappers. We know the world does it, but Christian rappers do it just as much, fluffing their numbers to impress people. And y'all gotta stop doing that. That it, it looks real funny. I can tell. I can tell when people have real numbers. Like it just, it's real obvious. So stop doing that. Anyway, uh, I don't, that's not what this video is about. I can't gloat in having 500,000 followers if 350,000 of my 511,000 followers are Korean drama fans. That's the problem. That's the problem. I don't bait them into liking my page. I, I don't try to trick them. My page, if you go to it, it is obvious that I am a Christian rap artist. I do not look like a super Korean drama fan. I don't think I do. But for some reason, hundreds of people a day like my page. And this has just started happening like maybe the past three years. So what you're seeing, like, like I used to be at like 120,000 and then all of a sudden I, I just noticed the numbers were going up at this really fast rate, but my engagement was getting lower and lower. And the reason why it's getting lower is because Korean drama fans want to engage with Korean drama content. I don't post Korean drama content. So that's the problem. I post Christian rap content. So and the reason I know they're Korean drama fans is because they message me all the time asking me, like, what's my favorite Korean drama? Asking me to recommend Korean dramas to them. I get tagged in post after post after post about Korean dramas. So what do I do, y'all? What what do I do? Do I, do I change my name? Do I start over? Uh... I've been doing Christian hip hop for 22 years. Do I start over? I've been, I have been changing stuff. I did, I've lost, I changed my diet. I've lost 50 pounds in the past year. Um, my hair used to be high. If you've been following me for a while, I, I chopped it completely off. Um, so I have been changing a lot of stuff. Um, 
in public and behind the scenes. So maybe this is just another thing I change. Or do I just stick with the name that I believe God inspired me to use? Um, Cause I was using this name far before uh, Korean dramas exploded to where they are today. Like when I first started going by K drama, I had never heard of a K drama. Um, and um, like you would Google K drama, Korean dramas would not pop up. But over the years, uh, I noticed that maybe 10 years ago, they started getting popular uh, Cause you would, I would Google K drama or YouTube K drama, and like I would see these Korean dramas pop up. And then I say like the past five, six years, seven years, it's gotten to the point where you type in K drama, that's all that pops up is Korean drama, and you might see one of my videos. Like my SEO is terrible when it comes to like, you know, my search in engine optimization is pretty bad. So. um I don't know, y'all. What do I do? Uh, let me know in the comments. <sighs> Should I change my name? Should I go by something different? Um, should I go by, or should I just keep going by K-Drama and just kind of just bear that cross? That's that's the thorn on my side. And if, if that's the thorn on my side, I could, I could deal with that. Like, that, that's not even a, it's not a terrible problem. But it is a little annoying. I ain't gonna lie. It is a little annoying. It's a little discouraging. Like, because every day I look at my numbers and I know they're not real. And it's not real because I did something to make them fake. It's not real because people think I'm one thing, but I'm really another thing. And for some reason, like I said, I'm attracting people. Do I start producing Korean dramas? Like, you know, I don't know the first thing about making a Korean drama, but maybe I can, maybe I can use this, like, <laughs> maybe I can flip it. I don't know. Maybe I can finesse the situation. So, uh. I'm done. Thanks for bearing with me. I tried to keep it under 10 minutes, but um, yeah, let me know what I should do, y'all.